Hey mamas, welcome to day two of our fall 2024 postpartum fitness challenge. Today, we've got a 10 minute low impact cardio workout. So we're gonna keep things joint friendly, low impact, but the heart rate's gonna rise and we're gonna build our cardiovascular endurance today. So just make sure you have some space cleared out. We've got two sets, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We can work at our own pace here. We're not counting reps. Okay, we're starting with a knee lift and twist. So lift the knee and twist. As you lift the knee, you're rotating the elbow to the outside of the knee, keeping the chest up. So you're not dropping your chest. You want that knee to come up towards you. You don't have to lift it so high to where you're touching your elbow, but the goal is to get some of that rotation in through the abs. So we're not just working the heart rate. We're getting some functional strength here. Core training. We're gonna get a little bit of lower body, upper body. And we're gonna feel strong and just overall get that nice endorphin high because who doesn't need that in their life? You can get a lot of work done in 50 seconds, but feel free to go as slow or as fast as you would like to. It doesn't have to be a hit workout. It can be a lower interval training workout. Whatever suits you is perfect for where you're at. So we're gonna begin next with our step jack. So I'll show you a couple options on how to make this one low impact or higher impact if you want to. So we're gonna step out, squat, and then step together. Squat, step together. Now you can see I'm touching the floor here. If you can't go that low without rounding your back, you step out and you just reach as low as you can. But the lower you can go and the deeper you can get into your squat, the more intense it's gonna be. Now, if you wanna add impact, you can jump out and in. Just take out the little step and you're reaching for the floor or you're just reaching down, not necessarily to the floor. But if you wanna keep it, stay true to the low impact. You stay here. Either way, when you put that work into the legs, it's gonna send it to the heart. Those big muscle groups, when we work them together, it's going to get the heart rate up naturally. So you don't need to jump, but if you want to, you can. Rest. All right, next we're moving to a side shuffle. So a couple of options, how to make this higher or lower impact. Start to the edge of your mat, the end of your mat. We're gonna shuffle across. I'll show you the stepping variation. So you stay low and you step. We're loading those legs again. Stay low and step side to side. Feet face the front, hips stay square to the front. Chest is up, but we're hinged from the hips because that little hip hinge is gonna allow us to sit into the legs. Kind of like a monster walk here. If you want to, you add the shuffle. Now you can stay up high or add the little reach and get lower. So you're getting a little bit more legs. But again, when you lower, don't just round the spine. Stay low so you're already there. You can reach, you're squatting to reach, not hinging at the spine. Good work. All right, 50 seconds feels like a long time for that. Skaters, options here as well. I'm gonna show you this one from the low impact perspective. Swinging your arms, you can go adding a little hop. You can see just a light impact here. You can also slow it down, take out the hop, reach for the floor. A Little bit more legs, a little bit more glutes or you can go the full skater. Side to side, lateral leaps. Lots of options here again. Level one, you can stay up here. You can go down low. You can add a little hop. You can add a big hop. Really whatever you're up for today, you can do a combination like I just did. So we wanna stay nice and low, still in the legs. Even if you're hopping like this, you know, to keep those knees soft, land soft, chest up. All right, so that was a lot. We've got one more in this round and then we're gonna repeat. Feet wide, toes out. We're gonna sit back, squat and punch. Jabs out and across. So, couple options here. This is gonna stay low impact, but you can go lower. You can come higher. Again, it's all about what you want today. If you want a little more legs, if you're doing leg day after this, consider this your warm up to prime those big legs, those big leg muscles. But if you just did leg day yesterday and you're like, nope, not doing it today, come up higher. 
take some of that pressure out. But like I said, if you're loading the legs, those big muscle groups, you're gonna get your heart rate up. And then don't forget about the punch. Rotate from that thoracic spine, punch higher than the shoulders if you can, fully extend that, lengthen those punches. Whew. Okay, we're gonna repeat from the top. So now we kinda know what the flow is, we know the movements, we know how to pace ourselves. So knee lift and twist, starting with that right knee. The most simple one, and this one is always gonna be low impact, but don't just get comfortable. If you wanna amp it up, speed it up. Bring that knee up. Don't forget about that crunch and don't lose the rotation either. That's really key for working the abs in this one. A little more than halfway there now. These are some longer intervals, so you may require a few more breaks. That's totally fine. Take them when you need them. Just a few seconds left. We got this. Rest. Okay, step jacks. So you know the options now. You can step and squat, you can reach on the floor, you can reach toward the floor. Take a breath. Let's do it. So reaching both hands to the floor. You can just reach one hand, you can stay a little higher up, you can go lower. You can add the jump. Light on those feet if you're doing the jump. Stay soft through the knees. You might try a few jumping if that doesn't feel good or if you're like, I need a little breather, just go back to the step. Slow things back down. But the legs are gonna burn, you guys. That's what we want. Just a few more seconds, I'm gonna pick it up. Who's with me? I love this because you can kinda play with the intensity, but then maybe for the last 10 seconds, you say, hey, I'm gonna do that advanced option and I'm just gonna hit it for the last 10 seconds. So you can kind of pace yourself that way. That's what I love about these exercises. My heart rate's up too. You guys, you can hear it. All right, side shuffle. Showing you kind of the monster walk, the little light impact or low impact. You can do a light impact, which is just a light shuffle, or you can really get down into the legs. You can reach to the floor if you want to add that reach. Make sure you stay lifted through the chest. Strong, straight spine. You can also stay low, take out that impact. 10 seconds, who's going? Who's going for it? Rest. All right, skaters. Four levels, four options. There's probably more than four options, but I'm showing four options. So, option one, option two, add the little hop. Option three, you go low and you reach. Option four, you go big with it. I guess option five, you could go big and you could reach down if you really want to go for it. See, I told you there's probably more than four options. Maybe you go back to level one for a few, because you know there's only 15 seconds left and you're saving up for the last 10. Are you ready? Let's go, last 10. Wherever you're at, we're giving it all for the last few seconds of each set. Good work. Okay, squat and punch, this is the last one. You know it's low impact but you know how to play with the intensity. Maybe you start up high, but from the get-go, let's get that rotation from the upper body. So as we punch, it comes from the lats, the back, the core. Now, we're getting to that halfway point. So in the last half, can you drop a little bit lower? I'm going to, you with me? Let's do it. So knees out. And the wider you go, 
I think the easier it is. So if you really want to go wide here, you can get deeper. It's going to allow for a little bit of a deeper range. Give it a little more power with those punches, right? Last 10 seconds. Can you punch higher than your shoulders? Get a little more power with that punch. Those punches aren't that good. They're probably not up to, up to martial arts um, standards, but you know, we do what we can here. I hope you guys enjoyed day two. I know I did. It was a great cardio burst and a great endorphin boost for me to finish out the rest of the day with my kids whom I love so much, but you know you just need the endorphins. Hope you guys had a fun day working out, and I will see you back here for day three.